So there's still a lot of drama and interviews that people are doing post the show and there's just a lot to get into. Hey guys, it's Marab Marali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again, it is daily and consistent content. Another Love Island Nugget video. Since you guys love these nuggets, I'm just gonna keep on supplying them to you and putting all the hot topics in just three to five minutes. So Mitch is speaking yet again on Katie and her mysterious boyfriend and you know, she's speaking, he's speaking sorry to many other publications and he said, it's not just come from one individual girl. The girls have told me, like people do talk. Everything I've said is very accurate. She, Katie, said she had a boy apparently. One of the girls has told me she said she had a boyfriend and she had a bracelet on that had a boyfriend's initials on that he bought her. And he was stopping at her house while she was on the show. So it was just a business move basically, which I don't blame them for because I would do the exact same if I was in that position. Basically, we're trying that all the islands are the same. They would order the same thing. They're all calling out people for things that they would do themselves. But the Sun have continued to say that they exclusively revealed that during her time on the show, she was involved in a secret backstage showdown with producers over her boyfriend or secret boyfriend. And they also reported on Katie and Liam going for a posh dinner in Mayfair together the night before she left for Love Island like a romantic goodbye. Not a romantic goodbye. Uh, okay, interesting. Clearly, you know, Mitch just continued to speak on it. And, you know, she continues to clap back at him saying that he was going on multiple shows. He tried to apply for Big Brother. It didn't work out. He actually flew to South Africa for Love Island Winter. It didn't work out. So he had to fly back. So, you know, she's basically expressing that he has tried to be in reality TV multiple times. He is desperate. I just feel like both are just are annoying as each other. That's just the way I see it. And that's just how I'm just going to really just keep on seeing it. Um, yeah. Arabella from Love Island season five has been seen on a boat with Leonardo DiCaprio. So Leonardo DiCaprio has his girls on a boat. Arabella is just one of them. So, you know, she's just there. Don't know what she's doing, but I guess, you know, just to be around him, your name ends up being in papers. And some people just want that type of conversation. But thought I would just throw that into this video because clearly it's in the papers today. Not only that, but Jess and Sammy are continuing to speak um, in relation to their relationship and you know what is going on um, whilst they admit that they were in no rush to move in together they did share their plans to go traveling and Jess also confessed we're going to have twins we'll have a boy and a girl getting married is another serious step the lovebirds are also considering I would never ask someone to be my girlfriend if I did not see myself marrying them Sammy told the magazine I agree, just confirmed. There's no point thinking you're going to be with somebody for a short time. Um, again, like I just find this whole relationship very confusing. Um, I don't think that he's into her as much. Um, he said it himself, and that is my source. He did say that, you know, that Jess is not his type. And the majority of girls he's been with are brunettes, and Jess is very much opposite to that. So I just see their relationship not lasting, and I think that Jess deserves somebody who's more authentic and more real towards her. And, you know, and again, they're both very young. I feel like, yet again, it's this black mirror world of going into a reality TV show, coming out and winning at the ages of 21 and 22, talking about marriage, talking about babies and girls and boys and twins and moving in together. These are huge life stages and it's just not realistic for you to go into all of that at a very young age. It's just very forced. And it doesn't make any sense to me. If this was Love is Blind, that'd be very different because they're both in their mid-30s or late, you know, late 20s. It would seem more realistic. But child, you are 22. This man has said many times that you are not his type. And the OK Magazine initial pictures, obviously people did not like. It was not authentic. And whoever shot it, I don't know what was going on. So I just kind of just feel for her in that way. Now, Katie also revealed in a podcast that the All Stars is actually happening next month. She said that it's happening in September or that maybe it's being filmed in September. I pray to God we don't get another Love Island show in the next couple of months. Give us some time, please. It looks like it's going to be premiered um, in January, February. So that basically is going to replace Love Island Winter. That's going to be in that time slot. So that means that we're not really going to get another Love Island break, guys. We want a year minimum as a break from Love Island season to season. So if we're getting Love Island All Stars, we're not getting a break. And then I think the year after that, in 2025, they'll probably just put up another Love Island winter. So that is what I just find very confusing. I think that's probably when it's going to be premiering and showing on television um, and perhaps just being filmed in September. So it's going to be pre-filmed with multiple Islanders. Katie has said no to it, thank the Lord. 
you know, the girls done so many, just, just chill. Adam, I believe, has said that he is going on to Love Island. So this is the point, of course, you know, where the month where most of the Love Island hype is. Tariq and Whitney have said that they are going um, to, but they have pictured, they have pictured themselves, sorry, in a studio. They are recording their song, It's Giving Bad B. And a lot of people are not here for it. And they just also just feel like, you know, it's cringe. You're doing the most. It's very unnecessary. It's, it's a forced movement. It was good while it lasted in the villa. Why are you trying to prolong it? Whilst I can see that side to the conversation, I also feel like Chris and Kem did a whole song when they came out. That shit went number one. They did a whole Love Island song. So I don't see why Whitney and Tariq can't do the same thing. Especially because Whitney and Tariq um, created that song in only a couple of hours. So to do that with such short notice, great creativity. So I don't see why they can't just create a cute studio moment. And if it becomes a song and a chart song, great. If it doesn't, great. It was good while it lasted. It doesn't really matter. So of course people are just, you know, now the same people who are, who are praising the song are now like, why are you guys actually in the studio? Why are you guys forcing it? It's just bad vibes in London. That's all it really is. And I just think that if they're having fun in the studio, it's not that serious. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it, guys. It's everyday content here, 24-7. I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another review.